Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and I'm back. The Pennsylvanian toy collector's back for another week. And we got Marvel figures we're going to be reviewing this week. We got some X-Men in the house, and some Iron Mans, and another Thanos action figure. But first, we're going to look at the X-Men I got from the Monroeville Exchange. We got good old Charles Xavier. He doesn't come out of his chair, but his arms got some articulation. No ball joints, but some articulation. So you'd be like, go, my X-Men, and save the world, and whatever. Kind of fun. And he's in his chair with movement. His head does move slightly. So this is a decent old school action figure. And he could be like on the chair and be like, press buttons, press buttons, and junk. That's all there is to say for Charles Xavier. Now we're going to do some comparisons with him. Here we got the other figures I own. We got the original... This is the 90s X-Men, Wolverine, and Charles Xavier. And they look good together. I think this is the first edition. Got that from the Goodwill outlet. And just because the Lego Marvel mech suit Wolverine. Because I like Wolverine here. So yeah, very cool. But now we're going to look at Wolverine himself. The new one I got. And he's got claws that go in a little bit, but they don't stay in very well. They just keep popping out on me, but articulation on this figure is pretty cool. Hinge joints on the arms, so you can be like slashy slash bub. Bend at the knees. Awesome. He got a lot more articulation than my first Wolverine from the 90s, so yeah, he's a good looking figure. Now we're going to do another group comparison. We got my first Wolverine action figure, the mech suit, Lego Marvel mech suit Wolverine, because they're Wolverine, why not? And last but not least, Charles Xavier. And these are awesome figures from the 90s, and I'm so glad to own these, 1990 to 1980 X-Men. But now we're going to look at these 12-inch, this 10-inch Marvel from Dollar General. It's like a stealth armor. I love Iron Man, and I've always loved him when I was a kid. I am Iron Man. Iron Man. I couldn't help but sing this theme song, song from the Iron Man cartoon, which I got on DVD. And then we got this flying Iron Man with wings. He kicks out that far. Doesn't kick back, so both legs kick out forward. Hands can go up like this. Head can move, but it's a tight joint. And he's got some paint wear on this head. This is a figure someone threw out. But I'm so glad to have it. And next, we got the Titan himself. Thanos with his Infinity Gauntlet. Look at all that paint and detail on these 12-inch Marvel figures are pretty good. And I'm so glad to add these to my collection because they are fun figures to mess around with. And I'm happy I own them. I am a Marvel fan. He, hands down, I'm always picking up Marvel figures to review on this channel. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I enjoy reviewing Marvel figures. I will always enjoy, mo en sorry, correction, enjoy reviewing them because I grew up with Marvel like everybody else. And Marvel is a fun line to collect and review toys from. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.